That, that is amazing. So we're here at Wyoming Whiskey. Uh, we have worked a, a partnership with them, Wyoming Whiskey and the Mule Deer Foundation to bottle our own bottles. We're gonna pick our own barrel. We're gonna put labels on them that we specifically designed with one of the Wyoming living legends on it. There's only one barrel worth of this whiskey and that's it. Hopefully at one of the Mule Deer Foundation banquets, you get to bid on one of these bottles. So come with us as we learn how Wyoming whiskey is built. Should be fun, come along. Holy cow. It smells like oak, and grain. You have different weights. Sounds like, uh, it smells like the bottom end of the food pyramid. Ah, grain. So this is warehouse B right here. This is the second warehouse that we ever had. This one houses 2,600 barrels at maximum capacity, and it's the one that we're harvesting quite a bit from. So your guys' barrel came from this warehouse. It smells like heaven in here. It does. I love it. I love oak. I want to stay. I love the oak. to run a tasting. So this is, if you're not familiar with the glass right here, uh, this was an actual purpose designed glass, piece of glassware called a Glen Karen. Um, and the anatomy of it is, is keep your finger here on this bottom little punt right there and that way you don't warm up your whiskey because you're gonna change the flavor of it. Then you see this little bell that's going out here and that is specifically to kind of catch higher alcohols which are gonna be more of like your boozy, like sharp kind of aromatics, those are gonna get caught here, whereas your more floral, fruity, sweeter, lighter alcohols are gonna come straight up into your nose. So what I like to do is I just kind of roll from one nostril to another. Don't put your beak right into it because it'll teach you a lesson real fast. And um, then what I like to do as well is once you get a nice sniff in there, breathe in, take a sip, hold it in your mouth for about five or eight seconds until you can really start to get the sweetness on the back of your tongue then swallow, and then breathe out. And that way you're not raking all that alcohol across your tongue. Oh yeah. It's got a nice, got a nice coffee coming through. So this is the white label that we're drinking right now and it came out of these tanks, right? Straight out of the tank. This is stuff that's like $35 a bottle. And like you, you just said, man, this stuff is good. It's easy to drink. Yeah, it's really good. Right. When it first came out, when this stuff first came out, first started hitting the shelves, people would buy a bottle and they'd drink it and they'd be like, oh, so it tastes like kerosene, it's terrible. And it was, because it didn't have enough time. To be no, like actually, he just explained this. What they did, they didn't realize the distiller was from Kentucky, where their, their temperature, they can harvest, or they can take whiskey out of a barrel all year because of the temperature there. They didn't realize that here, because it gets below zero, the whiskey goes into dormancy all winter. We actually really only have about three months out of the year when our whiskey is really doing anything. Because eventually it gets so cold that all chemical reactions will stop and then it continues to get even more cold and it will pull all the acids out of the oak because of the vacuum. It'll pull all the acids out of the oak that gets stuck in the whiskey, which then makes it just taste like you're drinking out of a rhinoceros that was made into an ashtray. And then the next spring, it blooms again. Got it. And so they pulled it out in the winter because you know, time, it was time, six and a half years. We do it six and a half years. Right. They pulled it out of the barrel and it was literally crap. How much that was a that. learning process. Oh, it's, it's interesting. When they bring somebody from Kentucky to distill whiskey mm -hmm. here and then didn't realize the winter yeah. affected it. Oh like yeah, that. well, we've all heard the nightmare stories, right? I, I actually We were all there. It. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> it was horrible. Um, yeah, so, so that's kind of an interesting that's thing. That's one of that. the things that we wanted to, because this, because these, a hundred of these bottles are gonna go to Wyoming Mule Deer Foundation. Oh, Bank, for sure, yeah. This is a great way to get your whiskey in front of Wyoming residents that drink whiskey yeah. that all heard the yeah, horror stories. Previously stores. refused it, yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, for sure. The opposite, the reason why it's amazing here is the temperature differentiation. 
So you go to Kentucky and they got to roll these barrels to right. keep them to keep the fluid moving in them. Here they don't because the temperature goes from it goes from 60 below zero to 135 degrees in you know through the course of a year. In fact, overnight yesterday it was 104 here. Right. Today it's 70. We call this static rick housing, uh, meaning every barrel for the most part we will keep it in the exact same position its entire life. If you walk in between the rows down here, it's gonna get substantially warmer. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're up top, up top, it gets piping hot. Really? Um, and you're talking a difference of negative 60 in the winter to 135 in the summer. Oh my so gosh. So you get quite a bit of a pressure change going on in there. And because of that pressure change, all that solution is just getting rip routed in there. Constantly um, moving. So we don't so really have to move them around that much. Churns itself. Just yep, exactly. The temperature yeah. variation. Yep. But the temperature variation doesn't affect the whiskey itself. Well, it so makes it taste the way that it does. Because um, that's that's really when you start to get your respiration. So that's another really fun thing about our so whiskey. Bad. Because this white label stuff now like is Andrew good. Said, everybody that I have served it to has been like, dude, that stuff is good. That is good whiskey. Mm -hmm. There you go. Dialed it in. Dialed it in. No, it's actually shocking, like how good. Like that's really easy to drink. Mm -hmm. It helps. We've had 27 of these too. <laughs> <laughs>